Welcome to the Southern Coop of Seven. Little Mommy and I are in here getting some snacks ready. And my THM book is fun. Page 315. The double peanut butter fudge swirl brownies. They are super yummy. What you making? Chocolate cupcakes. With this one. I got chocolate cupcakes. Then for a chocolate cupcakes. And we try to do some dairy free videos, and that's exactly what she's cooking here. I'll get her to share her ingredients. I Here's what we gotta have. Mm -hmm. We gotta have some mm -hmm. butter. Hang on just a second. Mm -hmm. We gotta have some cocoa powder, some peanut flour, one large egg, mm -hmm. some water, salt, and then the gentle sweet sweetener. Um, it uses stevia extract, but I usually use sweet blend in place of that. And then some baking powder and baking soda, and then we're gonna have a little peanut butter swirl. And thank you for bringing that to me. So right now we have an empty bowl. Okay. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Daddy's at work tonight, so we're chillaxing at home and hanging out for a little bit before we go do our nightly routine here. So, little mommy, would you mind sharing your ingredients in case somebody wants to make some dairy-free chocolate cupcakes? Okay. I I this eat this Place of the egg here. Oh, okay. I used a little milk. Oh. You used a little milk. What kind of milk? <laughs> Almond milk. It wasn't milk. sweet because we didn't have it. Oh yeah, we do have there. chocolate milk though. So chocolate I, tried, I was gonna do that, but I didn't want to waste it. Okay, so you can drink that. She's so thoughtful. She doesn't want to waste it. How about that? Okay, so I'm gonna show you my empty ball. Here it is. Nada. I'm gonna mix it up and we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, we're back. Little mommy got her cupcakes made. <laughs> Very much approved by Ladybug. The kids have already got a hold of them. There they are. She's gonna put some icing on there for the rest of them for tomorrow, but tonight, no icing. And I'll show you, yeah how far that I have managed to get in with my dough. So far, not as far as I'd like to be, but there's the chocolate dough for the brownie. And I'm getting ready to hopefully mix up the peanut butter to go with it. Is it good? You like it? Mmm, num, 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 num. Say more? Okay. So I'll show you the other part of the um, brownie dough in just a little bit because the best part's coming. She wants more cup. Okay, I'm gonna pour my yummy chocolatey dough in. It doesn't look like it made very much dough. I don't remember. I don't think I did anything different than I normally do, but I do know that when I put the peanut butter swirl in, it it definitely fills it up, makes it look more full here. So, smells really good too. I don't know if I'm smelling my bed or if I'm smelling your bed, little mommy. Yes, in the past two days, Ladybug is starting to get some long hair in the back. Maybe it's all the food. She has been eating like crazy, hasn't she? Her appetite has picked up a lot. I thought the boys ate a lot, but mm. my girls might be trying to catch up with the boys. So what I usually do, for those of you who have not made this recipe yet, for these brownies 
the dough is like super thick. It calls for a cup of water. Uh, no, 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 sorry. A fourth cup of water, but it, it, it always seems so thick. So I always take my little spatula and just kind of slowly spread it around. You know, it's like um, 30 minutes till bedtime and we're we're having chocolate at bedtime. It is Friday night though, right? We're supposed to have fun on a Friday night. Fun Fridays. She's coming. She's coming. So I've kind of got it spread out pretty good now. Now I'm gonna make the peanut butter swirl part and that I will plop on top of that and then I'll just take my butter knife and swirl it in. It'll be so good. Okay, I wanted to show you how yummy this part is. It's a little more liquidy right now than normal. I think I may have poured a little too much heavy cream in there. I think what I normally do. So now what I do is I just kind of mix this up like that. Just stir, 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 and then I kind of try to do as much as I can with the swirls here. But most time it's just like a a top layer of goodness that goes on the that chocolate layer. So good. And then I'm going to get a butter knife and I'm going to swirl it in there. And I'll show you what that's gonna look like, and then the end result is so good. I am a part of a, a do in May THM group, and I have made this several times on the. Uh oh. Ladybug is ready to go to bed. Ladybug is ready to go to bed. Like, pass ready to go to bed. I had her in my arms, but I couldn't get this mixed up very well. So I sat her down. Then my mama called, and she climbed up on my leg, and she fell down, of course. Okay, so now I've just kind of made a top layer here of yumminess. I'm going to take a knife and try to mix it in with the chocolate. So it'll have that peanut butter mix in the bottom. But it's, there's so much thickness in here that it's actually not working like I really wanted to. Baby, you're so tired. Take it here. Yeah. Put your peanut Put your passy in that, huh? So I'm just kind of doing a little swirl. Hey, Cracker. Hey, Cracker. You're too tired to say Cracker. Yeah. Got her crackers here. Not exactly the best bedtime snack on that one either. So I'm feeding my kids sugared up cupcakes as I make THM brownies for myself, huh? And feeding the baby crackers at bedtime. Okay, so this is looking nice now. It's some pretty swirling going on. Okay, I'm going to show you how good this looks. So, can you see those swirls? Yes. It's mostly peanut butter mixed in with that. It even has heavy cream in there too, y'all. So good. One of my secrets to making this recipe really creamy too, other than the heavy cream, is I add just a smidgen of the uh, Greek yogurt. Oh, um, see the Greek yogurt? That's straight from Aldi. I put like maybe a fourth a cup of that into my uh, peanut butter swirl mix. And it's good. Okay, so now we're going to stick it in the oven, let it cook, and we're going to get ready to go to bed. Okay. Okay. Okay, the brownies are done, and I'm going to talk a little softer because I do have the babies asleep in the bed, so I'll try to keep this nice and quiet. But I want to show you how yummy they turned out. I can't wait to dig in. They look so good. So for those of you who are wanting to try that recipe, that is in the this Chama Healthy Mama cookbook, and it is on page. 315 in my cookbook. So good. So since those turned out so well and um, the night is still young, 
Um, I don't have to do any school planning tonight for tomorrow to get ready for school. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also make the no bake snack bars. Hubby and I love these. So I'm going to make these and I've already got the peanut butter and the coconut oil over here. And then all it takes after that is some sweet blend, some oats, some um, the, the unsweetened coconut flakes, and Hershey's cocoa, and then I'm using my Hershey's chocolate chips, sugar-free chocolate chips. So these are not unplanned. These are THM cheats here, but this is what I have right now until I can get some of the other chocolate chips. So I'm going to use that for tonight. I'm going to get these made up and it will make a, I think this is a 13 by 9, so a big huge pan of those. And that will probably last us about a week to snack on those. The brownies, not going to last that long. So I'm going to make those and um, as soon as I get them mixed up, it doesn't take long to make at all. They're actually very easy to make. To, turn my eye up a little bit to get this peanut, peanut butter and coconut oil melting. Let's get baking these snack. Let's get baking the no bake snack bars. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, sorry I didn't get the video finished last night. It didn't happen, so. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> So we're going to finish it right now because Daddy is ready to get into these and I won't let him eat them until I finish the video on them. He wants to he wants to eat them. So I was going to show you how this works. Do you like your cookie? Um, I just bought these new teething cookies. We'll see what happens. Oh, there you go. That's cute. Hold your mouth. All right, so what do I do? What I do after I get the whole mixture in the pan, Take it to the freezer. It could be like 15 to 20 minutes. There's a lot of noise going on around here. Singing in here, screaming back there. Okay, so I put the mixture in the glass pan, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then I pull it out. Now, last night, because it was so late, I ended up letting it stay in the freezer all night long, and I pulled it out this morning. Once I pull it out, I'll let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Otherwise, it is extremely hard to come out. And so. If this has been sitting out for a couple hours, I am expecting it to come right up. I always cut them in the shapes, which I took a picture of that too, so you can see. Cut them. Go ahead and cut them in the shapes, and I'm terrible at aiming. So when I pull them out, it should be snack sized already for it. Right there. All right, I'm one handed because I'm holding the ladybug here. I just take it, and oh, it's almost too gooey. If it's too gooey, you might want to put it back in the freezer. A little bit, but it will freeze again nicely. So there you go. There's you a serving size and a knife, and I'll just stack them up when we want one. We just pull them out and eat them. A lot of times, Daddy will take these for his lunch. Mm. He'll put them in a ziploc, but you have to keep them cold because the coconut oil in there will make them kind of gooey. They taste good gooey too, though. They're not bad if they're not gooey. And this is from the Brianna's cookbook, but there's also a print, a Pinterest link to this recipe that I can put down in the description box for you, and you can try it. This is a very affordable snack, and it's not hard to make it all. It's gummy better. No, no, no. Sorry about the camera shaking there. Okay, so we'll just break it off and give her a little piece. I tried to give her the whole cookie, but that didn't work. So these are the THM version of a cow patty cookie. Hey. We have a cowboy in town. <laughs> they good, the Matt. Very affordable. You don't have to really have any special ingredients or anything like that. If you do have to have a sweetener, you can get the one at Walmart, the puree. I use sweetener. You do whichever one you prefer. So, like us and subscribe to us. We'll see you next time.